Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back with the blank wall and half baked mehndi, but ignore that. So here in India, mostly the American cartoon shows we are familiar with, the ones for adults at least, are The Simpsons, Family Guy, BoJack Horseman, and Rick and Morty, of course. But I don't think a lot of us really watch or talk about Bob's Burgers, which is my absolute new favorite show. Now there's a lot of reasons for it that I'm going to tell you about today. If I talk about the other shows first, like The Simpsons, it's about socio political issues and shock comedy family guy also tries to shock you with uh, the occasional oedipus complex and what not rick and morty appeals to a more college uh, mentality <laughs> i don't know how else to explain it like someone who's a young adult and is kind of messy and needs something to relate to rick and morty is perfect for that bojack horseman is of course about deeper darker themes like depression and the really dark parts of human beings and and it talks about it in a dark humor way but it also takes things to a serious context but bobs burgers is different from all of these shows in a way that it's for the adult heart but it's not for shock or 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 just relatability it is a place of comfort and let me explain how So Bob's Burgers is a show about Bob Belcher and his family, his wife Linda Belcher, his three kids uh, Tina, Louise and Jean. Bob is this typical uh, middle-aged man, quiet, looks a little bland, doesn't say a lot, likes to concentrate on his work and he loves his burgers. He loves cooking so much that he talks to his food while he cooks it. Are you mad at me? No. Oh, burger. You cute. You go too. <laughs> I'm not. His wife Linda is a big burst of energy in every room. She's excited about things. She loves singing, she loves chanting. Oh, yes. no. The cranberry sauce we have in mashed potatoes. Oh, the turkey looks great. Len. Thank you for loving me. Len. Thank you for being there. Oh god. She likes to make a party out of every situation and she's the enthu cutlet in the family who keeps the optimism going. The eldest daughter Tina, the one who is most relatable for me, is uh, 13 and she is very very soft spoken. She is kind and well she's obsessed with boys. <laughs> You know, is it possible to be in love with 25 people at once? You're my favorite. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> But mostly uh at the end of any bad situation, she comes out as the person with the heart of gold and the one who brings everyone to their moral center. I'm sick of acting like a dumb helpless girl just so a hot boy who dances his feelings will notice me. That's not who I am. I'm a smart strong sensual woman oh god jean their middle child is the creative one he's crazy he's all about what 11 year old boys are about poops and farts and boogers but he always has the best one liners that kind of no one reacts to <laughs> except bob sometimes put tina on the phone she's pretty big it'd be easier to put the phone on tina jane And finally there's Louise the youngest daughter who is the brains of the family who's an entrepreneur she's almost evil sometimes but she also has a moral center sometimes that moral center is brought back to her by Tina of course but uh, mostly Louise is the sharpest of the lot and she's always looking for a good money making opportunity I'll give you 20 bucks if you come and do this with me interesting a thousand 28 2950 deal this is going to be the hardest money i have ever earned no that's just the characters for you there are all these other characters that we are not getting into right now but the thing about this show is unlike all the other shows i talked about bobs burgers gives you this little world of adults and children and as a young adult who has left their childhood behind and who hasn't yet stepped into all the insane responsibilities of having a family and a relationship and a business or anything of that sort it gives you that sweet spot where you deal with the problems of adulthood and the fun crazy growing up moments of childhood 
there is a sense of nostalgia in this show because it reminds you of all the cartoon network shows that you used to love so much because it's right there on the brink but with a few adult jokes here and there and it has comedy that is a little advanced for children of course the sense of nostalgia it brings to you is through the satire it does of your own childhood and your adulthood or the adulthood that you're expecting the adulthood you have seen in your parents and the other adults around you one of the tools it uses to do this is giving cisgender female characters male voices so linda and tina are both voiced by men and like i mean it kind of is a little jarring when you watch it for the first time and you're like why are men giving these women their voices but that starts to make so much sense because you realize that these characters are a take on who you were as a teenager and maybe a take on who your mom is like or what your aunt is like or an adult woman in your life that you've grown up seeing so tina is that perfect hormonal teenager and she's insanely obsessed with butts and it's funny to see as someone who has been a hormonal teenager in the past it's kind of relatable but it's also exaggerated so it's easy to laugh at your own fallacies from the past at the same time it makes all these faults beautiful and endearing similarly the grossness of jean or the intelligence of louise that she kind of passes off as a money making opportunity these are all little things that keep the belchers going and the thing about the belchers is at the end of the day they are struggling they are struggling financially they are struggling in their social circles they are struggling to keep it together but every single day they have a new opportunity to do something big or something good and often the choice lies between these two and usually the belchers choose the good thing they always do the right thing at the end and that's why this show has a redeeming quality about it not all the other shows i mentioned often redeem their characters like the characters say a lot about society like bojack presents a dark reality to you and the simpsons makes you laugh at the political scenario of the country but bobs burgers makes you reflect on your own life which you're probably unsatisfied with and makes you look at the beauty of it the everyday mundaneness and the little little happy little moments hidden there every little thing that is funny every little thing to look forward to those moments from your childhood that you forgot about which you used to enjoy so the show is ultimately realistic yet hopeful it gives you hope and i think that's why at this point in my life it has given me this place of comfort and when i am worried about things not going the way i want them to it's ultimately telling me that things will be okay you know we'll figure something out at the end of the day i mean if you're a belcher you just have to make rent and you make rent somehow and then you go on to the next month and that's life and life is fine life is okay as long as you're dealing with it with the people you love so yes i do highly recommend this show thank you guys for watching before you click off uh, a few announcements uh, number 1 the last video i made it was about the song mai aisa kyun hu it got taken down on both youtube and instagram and now you can't see it anywhere so sorry about that uh, this is probably the reason why i'm not currently making anything about indian cinema let's see if the next one is about that but yeah most of my videos will be me talking on camera um so we'll just have to deal with that now the other thing is i'm thinking of starting the youtube partnership program so you can become a member on this channel uh, let me <laughs> know what you think about that in the comments because um there won't be a lot of perks because i'm a very straightforward channel with a video maybe a week two weeks and maybe now and then i'll do a live but uh, it'll help me out if i do get members on this channel so think about that if if you have the time <laughs> this was just a little tiny simple <laughs> recommendation video sort of to help you try something new for once so let me know what you think and i'll be back with a longer video maybe next week and i'll see you next time then bye